What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. I love basketball. I've always loved basketball. And I love the NBA. Even though this current atmosphere and climate of the current NBA, I find to be very subpar and watered down and inflated as far as numbers and statistics go, the game now, the NBA, to me, most nights, any given game, it is just not as much fun to watch. We all know that the three-point shot is heavily emphasized in the game today. There is immense spacing for all the teams. Harder to play defense now. And just a complete lack of defense among many teams because of the rule changes. All of these teams, the majority of the teams in today's NBA, all play the same. Greg Popovich once said, a couple years ago, he said the beauty of the game is gone, not verbatim, something along those lines. And he's absolutely right. The beauty of the basketball game is gone. Of the game of basketball in the NBA, rather. All these players do now is run to the three-point line and jack up three-point shots. Albeit open or sometimes not open, they just jack up the three-point shots. And if they're not jacking up the three-point shots, they're just going into the lane for what seems to be most times easy layups, easy dunks, easy finishes at the rim. But all that space in between the three-point line and the basket is rarely utilized. Because now the mid-range shot has been deemed inefficient and the worst shot in basketball. Well, tell that to Kevin Durant. There was a time where Watching teams play each other was extremely intriguing because you knew this certain team ran certain sets, ran certain plays, and had a very specific kind of play style. It was always intriguing watching, say, the early 2000 Lakers, knowing the type of game they like to play. Phil Jackson and them boys always wanted to slow the game down. They wanted the game to be very slow. They would run their triangle offense. That was extremely difficult to to a understand as somebody being part of the triangle but let alone defensive trying to figure out how to guard the triangle offense versus say a Greg Popovich team which you knew they were going to run a lot of plays they were going to pass the ball around until they got the best shot possible those days are gone you don't really get that anymore all of these teams, for the most part, for the most part, play exactly the same way. And it's not fun to watch. It's not fun. It's not beautiful just to watch people jack up a million threes a game. And the other team is doing the same exact thing. It's so hard to watch for me. It's so hard. And I said all that to say this. And this is where it gets worse for me. Recently, there was a game on TV. Los Angeles Lakers versus the Memphis Grizzlies. And the Memphis Grizzlies shot 9 for 37 from three-point land. That's 24%. And the Lakers weren't much better. They were 7 for 28 for 25%. But the Grizzlies still much worth, much worse so this team clearly from the beginning of the game clearly realized that there is a lid on the basket and for whatever reason 
as a team, the three-point shots are not going down. So instead of the coach trying to run some plays to allow his players to get easier shot attempts closer to the basket, they're just going to keep hoisting up three-point shots at a ridiculous pace to end up going nine for 37. That is almost 30. That is almost 30 missed opportunities. And when I say missed opportunities, I mean, yes, missed field goal attempts, but missed opportunities to get something closer at the basket. I promise you, you take those 30, we're just going to call it 30, right? Let's call it 30, make the numbers round. You take those 30 missed field goal attempts, missed three-point attempts. I promise you, you apply those to somewhere in the mid-range and closer to the basket, you'll probably shoot anywhere between 43 to 50 per percent. 43 to 50 percent. And that would be just enough to score you the victory in a game that you lost by nine points. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. Surely these coaches and players are competent, right? Please tell me you're competent. You're intelligent human beings. I mean, the Lakers weren't much better. They were 7 for 28. All right? But something tells me, I feel like I'm a slightly intelligent person, and something tells me if something isn't working, clearly, evidently, very apparently, that this isn't working, let's try something else to try to achieve our goal. But I bet these teams don't even practice mid-range shots or pick and pops in that mid-range area. Or running people off screens, dumping in closer to the basket for cuts frequently. I bet you don't even practice that stuff that much. And I'm not saying th the majority of the teams all play this way. There are a few teams out there that have a very unique play style and aren't so heavy on the three-point shots. And do run some good mid-range action and do run some good post actions. Do run some splits and things like that. Back doors. Back picks near the basket. There are teams that do do that, but the majority of the teams do not. Do not. And it blows my mind. Now you let your team go 9 for 37 before you decide to do something else. I don't I don't understand. I don't. We live we 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 live in a league today where there's a fast break. A 3 on 1, let's just say a 3 on 1, 2 on 1, 3 on 1, 4 on 1, whatever. And instead of going to the basket for an easy layup, run a three-man weave, whatever. The people on a fast break will all run to the three-point line <laughs> and shoot a three-point shot on a fast break where you could get a guaranteed layup or dunk. And they'll go and shoot a three-pointer because the analytics tell them so, because the metrics tell them so, because the numbers tell them that that is the best option and the most efficient way to play basketball. Kiss my black ass. All right. I, I can't believe it. I watch when I'm watching basketball now. It's like, here's a fast break coming. Yep. I bet you they'll shoot a three instead of going for a layup or dunk. You, you want to talk about percentages. There's a 90 to 100 percent chance you'll get a layup or a dunk completed as opposed to a Mm, 35 to 40 percent chance you might hit the three-point shot with my boy say take that for data take that for data <laughs> it's like oh what am i watching 
what am I watching? It's almost like these players are, are programmed, man. Somebody put a chip in them. And they can't even use their common sense on how to appropriately run a fast break for the best basket. Instead, they're programmed to run out to the three-point line. That happens so often and much more than it should. And to me, it should never happen. Unless the defensive just perfectly, perfectly, perfectly defends the fast break. This is, this is the climate that we live in today. This is the current NBA product. Now, I don't know what the future holds, right? We've seen the NBA evolve over the years and change. I don't know if we are ever going to get a version of the NBA of maybe the 90s and early 2000s or even 80s. I don't know if we will ever get back to that. And for all I know, this more or less version of the NBA that we have today with the heavily emphasized three-point shot and spacing and the complete lack of defense and schemes, this may be the way the NBA is going to be for the foreseeable future. This may be the product that people settle on. And you got the young bucks out here that think this version of the NBA is the hottest thing since sliced bread. Is that how the saying goes? They think this is the best thing. They think this is the bee's knees. Well, they have nothing to compare it to. They have nothing to compare it to. So they think this is it. And because the numbers, which are all inflated because of the style of play now, because the numbers tend to show them, oh, this is a better product. Scoring's up. Player statistics are up. It's, infl it's all inflated, man. It's because the, the style of play and the product has allowed for this type of productivity. But that doesn't make it better. It doesn't make it better. And beauty is subjective. I was going to say it doesn't make it more beautiful. Beauty is subjective. But for me, it's not a beautiful brand of basketball. And I agree with Greg Popovich. It's not. Not for me. I wouldn't marry this game. I love this game, but I wouldn't marry this game. I'm not putting a ring on this era of the NBA to be my wedded wife. No, I ain't put no ring on it. I love it. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. Girl, you do it to me better than anybody. I love you, baby. But I can't wife you up. You ain't wifey material. No, ma'am. So take that how you want to. I'll still stick with you, baby. But I can't lock you down. You ain't it. But I love you. Literally. 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 Yeah. That's all I got to say about it. Appreciate you guys. Let me know your opinion on the situation. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay notified. Thank you for watching and catch you on the next one. We out, baby.